Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. This video is a really exciting one for me because I absolutely love going all out for Halloween, Christmases, birthdays. If you are if you follow my channel, you'll know that by now from like my party videos, my Christmas videos. So this video is a Halloween come shop with me. So I traipsed around seven different shops, maybe even more. I'm trying to think if I've missed one out. Um, oh, Matalan as well, so eight shops to show you what they have in store and what my favorite items were in those store stores. Um, I will link to anything that I can in the description box below. So we have an annual Halloween party and I love decorating the house, the outside, the inside, just going really over the top. And I kind of am accumulating things as the years go on. So it's just gonna get bigger and better every year. But for me, I want it to be like a real spooky house, not like cartoony, like I want it really scary. Um, so the things that I'm always looking for are things that are quite like realistic. I like them to look like a scary, you know, you know like a scary movie kind of feel. So last year I went to an antique emporium and I picked up these really spooky dolls. Um, and like, they were like China, some of them were China dolls, but they were just, yuck like oh I, Adam was like are you sure you want to bring this into the house because he like you know like you just think you, you hear about these things like you bring a doll into your house and then you know it's possessed so anyway I picked up three of them <laughs> um I'll insert a little photo and then um I picked up this really it was a genuine photo of a family and it's from like I don't know the 20s um, and on the back it's actually got like um, the family name and oh it actually gives me goosebumps right now I, so I, I got that as well and when it comes to the Halloween parties I take away all our family photos and I replace them with like these spooky photos I go all out so I'm gonna document that as well then at the end of the video I will also give a little bit more detail about how I found some of the shops so enjoy watching starting off with Wilco because Alfie has a little bit of a cold today and we need to get him some tissues so here is the Halloween section obviously every store is going to be different but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things oh my god so there's some Halloween toys for pets, a little Halloween bandana, I think that's really cute. And then lots of these scavenger hunt things. They're good for a party. What else have we got? We've got cupcake kits, party sets, bingo game, that's good. I might get some of these games. Um, yeah, they'll be good for a party, won't they? Halloween activity books. Yeah. And then they've got the standard like carving kits for your pumpkins. Oh my god! <laughs> so this is censored. This little trick or treat bowl. This is really cool. Look, watch this when I put my hands in it. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna take your soul. Let Alfie do it. No. Take some candy. Pretend there's candy in there. Take some out. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Um, lots of little mini skeletons. These straws are cute. Oh God, it doesn't. I can't find the price for that. I think this is actually in the wrong place. That's really funny. Um, these little mugs. These are really cute. Uh, they're four pound each. Little ghosties. They're glass. That's right. They're glass. We've got to be careful. And then some buckets. And then the pay, um, the cottony ones, like the fabricy ones. Um, this huge skull is fantastic. It says try me, so let's see what it does. Hang on. What do you think it does, Alfie? Ready? <gasps> oh, it lights up green. I really like that. How much is that one? So this is the light up skull. And there's no price on that one either. Hang on, I'll show you. Look, there we go. These crows are quite good decoration to put around the house. They're six pound each. The cat doesn't look real. I love things that look realistic. I want my house to literally be like a haunted house. Yeah, this is cool. Enter at your own risk with the door cover. Three pound fifty. These are thumb signs. What? I'm talking about these. We got these last year. These are four pound and 
I put them in the ground. Yes, yeah, so they like stake into the ground. They were really good. Didn't glub up in the dark. Um, although these ones say they're not meant to, but the ones that I got last year were supposed to glow up in the dark and they didn't. And then we've got some witch's legs, but they look too fake for me. We've got the buried alive skeleton arms for £10. These, that looks really realistic, I love that. These black candles are pretty cool, so they light up if we've not got batteries in. Nope, they don't, but they're £4 each. It's always, I love candles, but obviously because we have lots of kids around, the light, the fake ones are better. And then another little pumpkin that lights up. And then this is like a set of skull and bones. What does it do? They go in the ground. And they, the, the pointy bits go in the ground and then it looks like there's a witch buried under the ground. <laughs> he, likes, he likes the witch's legs. And then these bits, I think, are really cool. So this is like a dead skeleton. They're £45. And then you've got some of the smaller ones. Like, this is like a rat. I just think they're so cool. They're really, really cool. The rats are £18. Um, and yeah. That's it. Oh, look at these spiders, Alfie. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like that one? No, I don't want them ones. <laughs> he doesn't want them ones. They've got some of the bigger cro uh, props. We've got one of these, um, but it actually broke last year. But this one is £15. And then you turn it on, and it does this. Oh, I shouldn't have brought Alfie with me. It's not real, my man. <laughs> I like these. These are little skeleton hands for three pound. But you could just leave them lying around. I could put one in bed and scare Adam. So the Halloween section in TK Match actually comes out last month. It did. So there's not much left. You can get out. Yeah, be very careful because there's lots of things that can smash. Um, so yeah, just I'll show you some of my favourite pieces that they have left. They've got some dog pet costumes. Oh my god, the spider one. If they had that for blue size, that would be cute. Cushion wise, they have a few left. I like this one, Happy Halloween. I like ones that can like blend into your normal home kind of thing. Like, what else? I really like these. I like the whole house to get in the theme for Halloween. So they're really cool. And then even this is really nice. Yeah, they're for the tree, Alfie, aren't they? And they've got, yeah, so lots of like kitchen bits is left still. A big rug which says Happy Halloween. I think they've got different ones. They've got lots of different ones under there. I love this. Let's get Wicked, a little plate for 9.99. These cups are really cool as well. Some of these have like skulls on. Skull hands for 4 99 This skull's really nice as well. So it's got bats on the outside, a little mummy in the middle. And that one's 9 99 I really love this. I thought it was going to be glass, but it's not. It's plastic. This is 12 99 but holds a candle up on top. So yeah, a little goblet. That's really cool. And yeah, I love these. These are really, really fancy. $6.99. So I really like all of these bits. Like these cups are my absolute favorite. And they're $5.99. They're, no, $6.99, sorry. They're really heavy. Um, but how cool are they? And then you've got things like this, which are really nice. Just saw these by the till, little trick or treat bags. Obviously, if you were having a party and you were doing like gift, good, good, goodie bags, um, but they've got a little Frenchie on. Just gonna head into the range now. So they have a selection of Halloween bits as you walk in, and the things in here are a lot more bigger and more of what I was looking for, to be honest. Should we see what it does? Uh, it's not working, but that looks really scary. This one, $59.99, and 
says it's animated, but I can't see a thing to see what it does. I'm guessing the eyes light up. Then they've got like a selection of their, their hanging ones, which have like masks and things. Zombies. And these. I can move, make sound and light up. And that one's only $17.99. But he goes on a bit too long for my liking. You've got this one. Let's see what this one does. This is the hanging creature. And this is $16.99. Oh, so they all say the same thing. This is the animated witch groundbreaker. It heads, it heads, turns, it lights up. This is it. But again, it just, it's not, to me, it doesn't look very realistic. Um, oh wait, actually, let's see what this one does. <laughs> I don't know what price they are. I can't see a price around. Oh wait, these are $39.99. This one stands out to me. So this is the Hanging Circus Clown. Let's see what it does. He really doesn't like it. I should not have taken him with me, should I? Let's see what this one does. Oh my god, love that place like that circusy music. That's really cool. And there's lots of these like hanging creatures, clowns, lots of clowns. Oh, under here we've got the little doggy that's $22.99. And oh, it's actually really, really heavy. So this could sit outside, couldn't it? I really like that if it was a Frenchie. And then it's got a thing on the back. Yes, yeah, so the eyes must light up. It's really heavy. This one is really, this one is really spooky. This is $24.99. I actually just played this one and listened to what it says. Oh, it says different things every time. So it just said, come closer. Don't you want to play? That is so spooky. I like that one. It looks very real as well. It looks like a real doll. It doesn't look plastic. If you had a dash hound, they've got a little dash hound skeleton for $9.99. A bag of bones for $9.99 as well. 12 piece bag of bones. It's really noisy because all of the things are going off. They have a set of three LED candles, uh, similar to the one that Wilkinson's had, but these are a set of three for $7.99. They have the inflatable clowns and things. And I've already spotted something on here that I really, really like. I have two things. This is so good everything seems to be silver though i want everything in gold but maybe i'll just have to suck it up and mix and match maybe i'm being too fussy so this is a spooky pillar candle holder for 12.99 i really love that and then we've got a skull stack i don't know if you can hear me over the screens a skull stack tea light holder for 12.99 i'm gonna get this today because you don't like this it's not real. They're just like pretty little heads. Yeah? Mummy gonna get it? Oh God, oh God. Um, this is also re really cool. It's like the Beauty and the Beast, isn't it? This is $17.99. Got some big pumpkins for $19.99, the outdoor ones. These little pots are really cute for trick or treaters. If you don't want to answer the door and you just want to put sweets. You want to what? Oh, there's nothing in there. But you put sweets in it, don't you, for trick or treat? Yeah. Yeah. These are also a really good activity to have for the kids if you are throwing a Halloween party with children. Um, like the house, it's 19.99, but like get them to decorate it and then they can play with it. And they've got the little spooky train as well.
They've got lots of arts and crafty bits, but just know that come October these will be gone very, very, very quickly. I love the bloody window footprints, although you wouldn't put feet on the window, would you? So they didn't think about that. It needs to be handprints. These look very realistic. I love those. Um, 3D metallic Halloween stickers for 99p. And then, yeah, like these little things, like to get the kids to paint them while you're... Um, having a party, having fun, keep them entertained. Um, they've got a pumpkin that you can paint. That's really cool. That's 12.99. Um, and yeah, like little, little goodie bags that you can decorate and just lots. I used to love these when I was a kid. We used to get these from the market, like not Halloween ones, just like coloring in ones. I used to absolutely love them. I just caught Alfie touching the, the girl. Did you touch her, Alfie? It's not real, is it? This one, oh my goodness. This is $17.99, are you kidding me? It's like a hanging, oh, sorry Alfie. Oh, it doesn't work anyway. Hang on. No, it doesn't work. That one looks spooky. We're now heading into Tesco to see what their Halloween, Halloween, Halloween range is like. So they have a Halloween piñata for £6 and then the stick for £2. That's a really good idea rather than just giving them... Yeah, I don't know. I know they're going to get a lot of sweets anyway, but this year... Last year we, we... They had far too much and I think we'll try and like ration it this year if we do have a party. So the shelves look really bare. I don't know if they've already... If they're just putting their stuff out or if they're taking it. If they're... If it's sold out um, they've got these paper plates which are brilliant I think they're really good for the kids no price on them though um, some napkins again really good for the kids and they've got your typical witch hats and stuff like that I like this haunted house sign £3.50 I think I might get that as well and this, this little cake stand is really cute as well. So they have a whole aisle in our b &M for Halloween stuff. Um, lots of costumes, but I'm not here for the costumes today. They've got the scary pumpkins for £16. Like that's such a good price. Just to have like a few of these hanging around your house for a party. And then it, I think it, yeah, it's got a little thing, it lights up. Should we see what this one does? That's really good, I like that. I think I might come back for that one. I love that. Sounds realistic as well. Obviously, obviously, there's no, it's not real. Like, it's not realistic in the sense that a talking pumpkin is not real at all. But yeah, I just, it's very like scary movie, isn't it? I don't even know if you could hear me over that. And they've got some of these hanging ones, which are the same, sixteen pound. They talk and all light up. And then this is more what I'm looking for like decoration oh these are so cool i think they look a bit too fake for my liking but five pound they light up that looks really cool they would be cool in the windowsill though wouldn't they, they? Like these ones light up alfie they would be cool in the windowsill because obviously from a distance like you wouldn't up. see how detailed like the ch like because they do look they look cheap close up but from far away you want to light it up there you go um they've got the um the foamy kind of graveyard things which dunelmo actually and um, oh, yeah, the range had as well Mommy, they've got some oh, yeah, lunch yes it lights up um we've got some tablecloths for five pound this one's nice it's like a, this one's four pound but yeah it's like a net i like that a lot uh, table mat you've got more of a kids one which wipes down 
that would be good if you had like a kids table and then some of these like candle no that's more autumn -y. autumn -y, or autumnal that's the word um then halloween i think that that one you like that i like this little neon sign and it says spooky that's 10 pound i think that's really cool these baskets are nice as well trick-or-treat baskets again like if you just wanted to put sweets in this looks quite cool a stacking pumpkin that's 10 pound i prefer the plates that were in what was the plates i saw i think they were a tesco i preferred those plates these are cute one pound 50. the 25 paper straws We've got paper cups as well again they've got a cupcake stand here as well three pound 50 but again prefer the one in tesco these are just good to kind of place around a table or worktop, an island, and have like lots of different sized skulls, candles, make it really spooky. They've got lots of these um, signs. I like this one, do not enter, four pound. This is really cool. So this is a mo motion light projector, 15 pound. That is brilliant. Projects up to three meters, 10 foot. Spooky floating motion. That is so good. I love that. Indoor and outdoor. So you could have that on the house or something. Oh, that's brilliant. I think I'd I think I'd like to get one of them. Oh, this is really cool as well. This is eight pounds. A skull dispenser. You could fill that with like a cocktail or something. That's really cool. And that's pretty much all they have in BM. I've just also spotted this which I go through so much of this. The amount of times I had to send Adam out last year to get some more packets. I've got mine from Poundland, um, but this is even better. So this is Jumbo Spiderweb. They have it in white and in black, 69.2 uh, meters. I'll insert a photo of what I'd done to the house last year, but um, they've only got one white left. Oh no, there's a few actually. Um, but yeah, that's brilliant. I'll probably pick up two bags of that because you can never have enough of this for Halloween. And now popping into Matterland to see if they have a Halloween range. I would film the sign to say I'm going into the range, but the sign has been taken back. Oh, my mistake, it's not the range, it's Dunelm. So that is all I have managed to get done so far today. Dunelm had no Halloween th things whatsoever. Matterland, same, no Halloween things at all. Um, b and had quite a few good bits. I'm also... I'm going to head out later on tonight to pop to Asda and Sainsbury's to show you what they have. Some of my, one of my followers actually sent me something that Asda had and I really want to get. So um, I'm sure they have some really good things. So I'll make sure I get back out later to do that. But that's already been a few hours. I have now two kids in tow and we are just heading into Sainsbury's to see what Halloween things they have. Right now we're heading into Asda. Take two. I know that they've got some bits in here. So we've just popped into Asda and their section isn't, I don't know where, but maybe supermarkets are starting later, but normally it's all along here. But it's just a little bit, this little bit here at the moment. These are cool. These are seven pound. And they're quite big. You could put flowers in that. That could be like a vase, couldn't it? I think that's really cool. And then there's these little cauldrons for ten pound. I really like this, I might get this because I think to put flowers, I don't know, it's a bit, it's not deep enough maybe for flowers, um, but yeah, you can fill it up with some sweets. This was what I had come here for, £18, no, just one, yeah, scary, how good, I think I'll go for the girl, I think she looks really good. And then these are like the hand prints that go on the windows, and there's only a few of them, they're a pound each. And then I've had these ones before, these jelly ones, but they don't stick as well. If you've got radiators underneath the window, they fall off. I like these plates as well. I prefer these to the F and F ones. They're really cool. And the napkins as well to match. I really like them. And then you've got the big skull. I haven't seen one that big. Skeleton, sorry, that's 30 pound. And it's actually a life size. That is fantastic. Look, oh my God, how good is that? I'd love to get that and cover it with cobwebs. Ooh. Oh, what's Pollyanna found? A skull, yeah. velvet skull. And then you've got some other little skulls which light up for five pound. You've got this kind of 
Hi. Don't know, bug skull. Hi. What are these? That's some bunting. Hi. Ooh, spooky. Hi. Um, yeah, that was what I got last year the glow in the dark steaks. Um, but I got two hoping I could do like one each, but they were both facing the same way that way. Um, but they didn't glow in the dark very well. They're three pound each. And then if you're going for more like a black theme, they've got quite a few of like this skull head. It's a velvet black. This is quite cool. Scary street. Oh, actually, I think I prefer that to the haunted house thing that I picked up earlier. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh my God, they've got a brelly, a jelly mold. <gasps> Brain jelly mold. Oh my goodness, a pound. I'm gonna get that. That is so good. Let me, I can't get one I want. So I can make brain jelly, how, oh my God, so good. I'm definitely gonna get that. Um, oh my God, this door knock knocker is four pound. Love that. These little skulls are cute, little velvet, um, not skulls, velvet pumpkins for three pound. Um, a little wreath to go on your door for eight pound. Uh, what else, what else? A little gold skeleton. And then some more big pumpkins for five pound, like velvet ones, I really like those. And then this, um, actually I think I got this last year. I'm not sure if it was, definitely got a skull with flowers, but I'm not sure if it's the same flowers. I think I like this one better. This is eight pound. I'm not sure if mine were black. So what did you think? I thought it was a pretty good shop. Now it seems like the supermarket, so Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's, we went into Sainsbury's, they had nothing. They had Halloween costumes, but that was it. Um, it seems like the supermarkets are only just putting the Halloween stock out. So when I was in Tesco, the guy was actually filling the shelf. Um, so I think they wait until October I always thought they were a little bit earlier, but um, it, seems, it seems, seems mental that there's Christmas things in the, sh in the supermarkets, but not Halloween stuff yet. So just bear that in mind. I think we're a little bit too early for the supermarkets. PK Maxx, we was actually a little bit late. Um, I Someone actually, a follower sent me a message a few months ago, I think it was two months ago, and she sent me a message to say TK Maxx had their Halloween stuff in. And I did pop in and there was like four aisles of Halloween stuff and I was like, oh my God, I need to come back. Like I had the kids with me, I was like, I need to come back, I'm not prepared yet. I went back this, this day and there was only one aisle, not even a whole aisle. It was like a side shelf and one shelf. Um, so like, you know, um, so I was really disappointed because they did have so many good pieces. I feel like the things in TK Maxx are also very realistic and they're like proper things that you would have around your house. Um, they're not tacky. So I was really sad that I missed them. Those cups, I'm actually gutted I didn't come away with the cups. I think I'm going to go back and get them. Where else? The range, absolutely brilliant. But again... I don't know if I'm early or late, but last year, I think I'm, pro no, because they're setting up their Christmas, so I think I must be a little bit late. Last year, they had an upstairs section with like four or five aisles of Halloween stuff. That's all Christmas stuff now, and they had just the bit where you walk through the door, one aisle of Halloween. Um, so I think I'm potentially a little bit late there as well. If you know better than me, do leave me a comment and let me know. Um, Matalan had nothing, not one thing. I'm assuming they've got costumes, but they had no Halloween decorations. b and was it Home Bargains or b and I went into? b and yeah, because they had the blue sticker. They were good. They had like one whole aisle, really long aisle. Really good things though. Um, and then Dunelm had nothing, um, which I was shocked about. I kind of thought they would do seasonal things. But yeah, they had nothing. So yeah, that's it. Asda was also a real favourite of mine for like that rocking, that like child that was rocking. Um, that's something I really, really do want to pick up. The reason why I didn't pick up a lot of things, I will show you what I got. But the reason why I didn't pick up any of the big things is because we are still in our rented while our house is being renovated. And we are due, our kitchen is due in on the 10th of October if everything goes to plan, you know, if like one person gets sick, then it, it, it delays everything. Uh, so we're literally like, just hoping, hoping, hoping. We are literally due in like three days before Halloween. <laughs> 
So it is mental. The house is not going to be complete already whatsoever, but we still really would like to do a Halloween party. Um, so let me show you what I got. I picked up the skull candle holder, the tea light holder. This was, I thought it said eight pound something, but it was 12 pound 50. Um, but I was happy to get it because it looks really heavy and it looks really spooky. This was the thing that Alfie was like, please don't get that mummy. Please don't get that. He thought it made sounds because when we was in the shop above this, there was like a speaker like making scary sounds and he was like, please don't get that. Adam suggested, which I kind of hate that he thought of this, putting a red candle in the top and then it would drip down. Pretty genius idea, isn't it? But I don't know if I want to ruin it. I don't know. It would be pretty good though, wouldn't it? Last year from Tesco, we got those skull candles, which oozed red. And I've still got them because it didn't it didn't melt fully. So I'll use them again this year. From, from Asda, I got the jelly mold. So this is the creepy jelly mold. I really hope it works. Um, so it's like looks like a brain. And I just thought that's a really cool centerpiece. You could also put spiders, not real spiders. You could put like um, plastic spiders inside the jelly as well, or like worms. Um, I thought that would be really cool. I could make two of them and they could go on the kitchen island. Even thinking that we're gonna have a nice big kitchen island again is just, oh, I can't believe it. And then another thing from Asda, I really like these. I know I like the ones that was in Tesco but these were more a bit me. So I got two packs of those. Probably should have got more, but it's really hard. I don't want all this Halloween stuff lying around if we're not even gonna have a Halloween party. I know I can use it next year. And then two packs of napkins, but they're really cool. Like, look at the eyeball. I love them, they're like classy. They're like Kourtney Kardashian style. And then lastly, I got the sign from Tesco that says Haunted House. I'm a little bit unsure of this. I, it's, a, it's a purchase I think I regret because it looks cheap and not scary. I think a, a wooden sign would be so much better. So that is everything from the Halloween Come Shop With Me. Hope you enjoyed it. And if the supermarkets do start bringing some more stuff out and this video does well, then I may do another one just showing you the supermarket bits. So I oh, will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe Mommy. if you want to see the Halloween party. Mommy. So please do subscribe if you want to see how our Halloween party turns out. See you all soon.